Hey man, welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews, and I just wanted to show y'all my new combat load. Now I'm running the Palmetto State Armory M16A4, but first I want to get to the good part. In my opinion, if you are looking for ammo, the best place that I found to get it from that's still shipping in decent times. Now I'm in Middle Tennessee, so I can't say how long it's going to take to get to you, but when I order from Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, it's here in two days. Period. Two days. Matter of fact, about a month ago when I ordered my big order, if you look through my channel and see the IMI 556 55 grain ammo, it was here the next day. I don't know how, I don't know why, but they shipping it out fast. I got my shit in two days. I ordered it Sunday. Got it today. So two or three days, basically. So it's not that long. And as you see, they got plenty of ammo. Now, they are starting to creep up with the prices, so you may want to act a little bit more sooner than later. As I stated in the last video I did, you know, buy everything you can now because, you know, we know what we got coming. We know we got Biden coming. Not only that, we got these vaccines. I don't know about you. Is you taking the vaccine? I don't I'm, I don't think I'm taking the vaccine. But anyway, here goes some of the, ooh, look at that. right. Ooh, damn, look at that right there. That would have been some good ammo to try, too. 75 grain Hornady, ooh, ooh. Then they got some of that. They got some 556, 55 grain. I might try some of that shit right there. That's only $5 more than what I got right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try this first and if this works good, because this is running at $20 a box, I'll just stick with this. I am kind of interested in that, though. They just got that in stock, too. And they're always filling up their stock, too. That's another thing I like about them. This is basically like my only little spot to get ammo from. I like them. Let me go back to 223. I just want to show y'all some of the ammo. Since this is going straight to YouTube, I can show y'all websites and everything. I don't know if y'all deal with Facebook, but Facebook can't show websites and all that shit. The 223 Remington. Now they're starting to creep up on the prices of the 223 Remington too. Because this box right here, this is what I got right here on the table I'm about to talk to y'all about. They crept up a dollar and ninety nine cent because it was nineteen ninety nine for a box. So ammo price is starting to creep up a little bit. Even the, um even this right here, because this was like fourteen ninety nine a box. Now this the went up to eighteen ninety nine a box. I was just here on Monday and Tuesday or Sunday and Tuesday ordering ammo. So the price is starting to go up, but they ship fast and they got some in stock. Another thing I like about them is um, you only could order certain amounts. Like you only could order 20 rounds of this. So you're not going to have to worry about one person coming here buying 50 boxes of this because the most you can get in one day is 20 rounds. That's their limit. So if you're just looking for a couple boxes of ammo to stock on, what, on top of what you got, Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore is the place to go. And as I said, I'm in Middle Tennessee. And I'm getting my packages in two to three days, max. So, hit them up. Just wanted to get that out the way. Because I know with this ammo shortage, I know everybody trying to find the deals on the ammo. And I'm not going to talk too long about this ammo. Just quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm going to be running this in the rifle that y'all have seen so many damn times. This Palmetto State Armory M16A4 with a 20-inch barrel, 1-7 in twist, chrome molly vanadium. Running the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 8 with BDC 3 Radical, the second generation. And it's some good, decent ammo. Nice crimping around it. Feel like the primer set and everything's good. I will admit, this is a little bit longer than 55 grain. Just a touch. Just a touch longer than 55 grain. But. I was kind of worried about heavier grain ammo if it was still loading some of my magazines, but you know, it still loads. I haven't had no issues. Now, of course, I haven't ran any of it yet. I'll run it this weekend when I go to the range. I got two boxes here, and I got another two boxes that should be here tomorrow. So that'll be a total of 80 rounds. I probably will take 30 to the range with me, and I leave 50 inside of my D mag. And I'll start stacking this ammo, depending on how it shoots at 200 yards. I'll start stacking this ammo on top of the 5.56, which is 55 grain, M193, and 62 grain. So I'll start stacking this ammo on top of what I already got. And this will be like my little precision combat load. And my 55 grain and 62 grain could be just, you know, plinking ammo. 
or it can be my secondary ammo. But this is going to be my main ammo. Hopefully, if it shoots good how I'm thinking that it should. I just wanted to show y'all that ammo and show y'all where to get some ammo from, man. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and, you know, think about if y'all going to take that uh, vaccine or not. <laughs> I'm out, man.